Hello everyone, my name is Hussain Abdullah and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the VRA7 for the 3DS Max. That is the beta version, but we have some features. In the new version, uh, we should uh, discover some feature of that in this video. And one of them, we're going to focus on that. That is the luminar light. We have a V-Ray luminar light. Um, it's so much useful. And uh, that is make it so much realistic in interior uh, sense or project. And we were going to focus on that and practice uh, in this sense. I can show you that. And I got the before. Uh, get a render in V-Ray 6 and now we're going to compare that side by side with the V-Ray 7 Let me turn on that V-Ray generator and that is another shot And if you want to learn how to modeling and rendering and upright material and get a render from this sense You should go to my YouTube channel and you can see that uh, We have a two part of that and I'm teaching that before how to model and render of this sense but we have a one issue that is with the uh, I talked that with the Persian language but it's okay you can uh, use that and learn so much easily and it's okay um, so let's do this I remove that light uh, when we use that in the very six and now I want to use that uh, some new uh, lights to upgrade that the, the slides upgraded with the luminar light and when you go to light tabs you can see that when you convert to V-Ray and you can see that we have a V-Ray luminar and it's so much like the V-Ray IES light that uh, need the files but we have a limited and we should use that uh, the collection of lights in the Cosmos browser and we're going to do that and you can see some features and uh, modify tab uh, like uh, intensity, color mode, and some effect, uh, diffuse, specular, and nothing more. It's so much like that video, yes. And now I want to go to use that Cosmos browser and show and show to you how to use that. Uh, I just joined that and I want to type luminaire. And we have a these lights and that light uh, updated or upgraded with the luminar features when I want to open up this uh, avatar light you can see we have a luminar feature in here and I want to use that import to our my scene I move and one rotate here okay and use that another the table lamp here and another for ceiling I just select that and center up my room and use that front of view a little higher okay and now I will show you that uh, render setup setting uh, in the render element I just use the very generator and very light mix and why my and my very generator type style I don't know NVIDIA AI generator that is that and nothing more use the brute force and turn on the ambient occlusion that's the parameter of uh, progressive image sampler okay let's try that and get the uh, interactive render of distance and compare side by side with the new feature and VA luminar When we, uh, when we use that, the luminar light, we have a two types of lights. Uh, one of them is for source and one of them is completely uh, raise that to our scene. 
and I want to give a more high number as the one of them that is I think for a uh, table lamp and that's for ceiling I give that maybe 10 and now we turn on that in our scene maybe uh, 7 and 7 here okay and let's compare and I want to use that the history tab if you don't have it you should just go to the uh, VFV setting and turn on that in the history just enable and uh, click on that and just give uh, the history folder like make the new folder uh, in the drive your driver C and select that and just save and close that okay that's enough and I want to use and now I want to compare uh, the right of the side is for V-Ray 6 and left side is for V-Ray 7 that's so much better but uh, a little I want to move that a little going right I think it's so much much better and we have another feature in v 7 when you want to stop that render uh, we have two options before that we just one option in the v 6 now we have a two option that is for v 6 about rendering but in the v 7 we have a, an, another uh, that is the stop rendering and you never lose anything and just I select that that's my render and let's again oh I should uh, remove off that that's A B A okay so much realistic lights in our scene um, let's go to another shot here and where we're going to a little change the temperature of this light okay and now let's compare that oh let me this of this and now so much realistic it's so much better And you can see that again. This is, I think I can say that this is the miracle uh, light ups uh, in our interior scenes. And you can see effect of this light on the bed and seal. So much better weather. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy that um, thank you for watch and have a nice time until the next video bye